Miles, this question for you. You had a season high 27 against Central last year, season high 17 tonight. Is something you saw against them the last couple of years? Top two big scoring nights? Um, I mean, one thing that's been consistent is just my teammates sharing the basketball. Actually, I think I had like zero assists tonight, so I think I need to do a better job of sharing the basketball. But I think we did a good job of finding an open person, making the next uh, pass, and we executed offensively. Miles, just again for you. Um, it was obviously your first time back in the starting lineup since being injured. Kind of, how does that motivate you? Just to. Um, I mean, this is my fifth year. I've been in just about every position you could imagine from being hurt on the sideline to coming off the bench, starting. I mean, this has been like a little roller coaster, but I mean, I'm ready whenever my number's called, whenever uh, somebody needs to step up. I mean, I think our whole team did a good job of stepping up since Elmore and uh, AJ Brown have been down. So, I mean, it's nothing new. Um, Eric Deck with the Athens Messenger. Any one of you can answer this, but just obviously after the two game skid last week, just how nice is it to come home and then come through with the victory in the end? I mean, it was just amazing. Just our fans were amazing. Uh, since the break has been going on, I mean, it has been lower fans at the combo, but today the fans are back on campus. Students are here. I mean, they were just amazing. They supported us, cheered the whole way, and we couldn't be happier. Uh, a lot of work with the post. Um, only allowed Central Michigan to have 61 points tonight, one of their lowest uh, scoring totals of the season. What was working so well defensively tonight? I mean, our transition defense was a lot better tonight. Yeah, uh, that's what we've been working on for the past two weeks because it hasn't been very good for the for a few games. So our transition defense was really great, and we didn't turn the ball over very much, so they couldn't score off that. So that helped a lot. Um, question for you, Aiden. Um, you've been growing a, a lot as a starter right, lately, and um, what's been kind of the momentum getting you behind with your teammates? Just get you get through those starts and get for those performances. Yeah, I mean, I got to give a lot to my teammates. You know, they pass me the ball at the right times. You know, I'm not the craftiest player, but, you know, I get in the right spots and my teammates find me and I just try to try to capitalize from that. Uh, either one of you guys can answer this too, but um, over the past couple of weeks, especially some of the home games, it's been a bit of slow starts for you guys and playing catch up. So just what kind of was the most important thing about having a, a kind of a fast, hot start uh, of this thing tonight? I mean, uh, we before every game, we all meet up in a circle uh, two or three times in the hallway on the court before we do warm ups and uh, starting introductions, just going over the game, recapping everything that we want to do. And we really emphasize starting the game off on a good note this time. So I think everybody being locked in from the jump, knowing the game plan really helped for us. I just wanted to ask specifically late in the game, closing it out, how you guys think you did defensively? Um, we did an excellent job. I know one person that really stuck out to me was A.J. Sheldon. He was excellent uh, communicating, Xing, switching when we were supposed to, and we limit their uh, points down the stretch for sure. Um, before the season, Elmore James and um, A.J. Brown obviously got up a lot of attention. Uh, during the off season, without them tonight, how did you guys kind of rally around each other to still get the win? I mean, this is a brotherhood. When one person goes down, everybody steps up. I mean, you saw it all the way down the line from everybody that came off the bench, everybody that got in the game today made a huge impact. So whenever a soldier goes down, we support them, we help them, but the next person has to step up, and I think everybody did that. So you guys have obviously had kind of a slow start in the conference, um, but now sitting at two and three with 13 games left, what do you think is one thing that you guys can do better to kind of improve down the stretch? I mean, obviously, our defense and rebounding, that's been a weakness for uh, pretty much the whole season. And this was a good start for us. Uh, we only allowed, what was it, like eight rebounds? Some yeah, eight yeah. offensive rebounds or something like that, five. So, I mean, we just keep doing what we're doing, and it's going to be a great season for sure. Anything else? Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thank you all so much. For our team, you know, great to have the students back, the band. What a, what a ap great atmosphere. And uh, they make a world of difference. Um, you know, the dance and band, cheer, everybody uh, really got into it, and uh, we needed them. But really proud of our guys stepping up, um, you know, with Elmore getting hurt last game and not playing today. You know, I thought we did a great job of getting off to a great start, uh, did a good job of controlling the first half, and, and um, you know, I thought all eight guys who played, you know, made different contributions in different ways. Uh, Eric Deckard, the Athens Master there. Uh, Coach Miles with a season high 17 tonight, obviously, with just the adversity he's been going through, just how nice was it to kind of see him come up big, uh, especially in such a big game? Yeah, he was big, and you know, I think this is probably the healthiest, the healthiest he's been all year. 
and um, you know he's been banged up, different you know things, but uh, you know he's a fifth-year senior. He's been in our program the longest, and uh, you know we we definitely needed his you know output today, and I thought I thought he was really good on both ends. You know I thought he did a really good job of guarding uh, you know Taylor on the other end. Um, you know to hold him to zero offensive rebounds was a big key for us. You know he averaged over two coming in, uh, so I thought he was really good on both ends. Hey, good, by the way, good to have you all back, man. I hope you had a good break. Sorry. Um, how would you credit the defensively uh, the entire night with this performance? Yeah, I thought we were locked in and focused. I thought we did a really good job uh, with preparation. And if you go back, you know, normally, you know, we play on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So our off days normally Wednesday. You know, we have two really full days to prep: Thursday, Friday, play Saturday. And then when there's a Saturday game, you know, it's a quicker turnaround. And you know, our travel was crazy coming back. Um, you know, we came in on Sunday, you know, it was a lighter day, more of a film walkthrough type of day. And I thought our guys did a really good job of taking the film session, you know, to the walkthrough, to, you know, practicing yesterday to, to the game plan. And, um, you know, moving forward, you know, that's going to be big for us. Andrew Bowie, WOUB. You guys have been in a lot of close games this year. What did you see from your defense down the stretch to keep them? Yeah, I mean, that's an understatement. We've lost eight games by, you know, 34 combined points. And uh, it was good to have the lead that we did. Um, you know, we, we've had leads like this and given them up. So that was encouraging to see kind of how we responded, you know, when they make a run. I don't think it got under 10, maybe maybe one time. But, uh, you know, our guys did a good job of making plays when they needed to in the second half. And, um, you know, taking care of the basketball is big. Transition defense was big. You know, not limiting their second chance points was really big. So playing without Elmore James tonight, and of course AJ Brown already going down earlier in the season, kind of what does it say about the depth of this team to get a win against a good team? Yeah, I think you know AJ obviously you know good player out for the year. Elmore, we'll find out more about him this weekend. But you know Elmore was lead, our leading scorer, our leading rebounder. You know shooting fifty eight percent, sixty two percent, and um, you know multiple guys. You know, have to kind of replace that. You're not going to replace it by one guy. And, you know, the eight guys who played, they're, they're going to be the eight guys playing moving forward. And I thought all three guys off the bench contributed, you know, in different ways. You know, it might not be scoring, but it might be a defensive stop, a rebound, a 50-50 ball. And, um, you know, they play for each other. And I thought, you know, it was a great follow-up game, you know, with, with Elmore not being in there. Uh, Bobby Warby with the post. You mentioned the defensive effort tonight, but specifically in the interior, the paint defense. Um, I think the Central Michigan big man Harding didn't have a point tonight. So how uh, proud were you of uh, AJ Clayton and his defensive effort tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we always talk about post defense starts in the perimeter. You know, by if I'm guarding the guy who's got the ball, trying to de deflect the ball, make it hard to pass in. Um, when we played Western Michigan, we didn't do a very good job of that. So we kind of. You know, showed some film about what we didn't do, what we needed to do, and uh, you know, we tried to get him off his spot. Um, you know, as far away from the basket as we could. Uh, you know, we, we threw some double teams at him. Um, you know, in the first half, we we didn't do a very good job. He he skipped a couple for threes. You know, we made some adjustments on that, and uh, you know, I thought Gabe was really good, just guarding one v one, walling him up, and um, you know, to hold him 0 for six. You know, that's that's a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, particularly through uh, the home game so far this year, it seems like you guys fall down early a lot, whether it just be your guys and your, um, the other team just starting hot. So just what do you think went into the early hot start for you guys and just how nice was that to get that early lead? Yeah, it's always big, right? It's easier to you know play with a lead. And I, I thought our energy was really good from the start, um, even though it was, uh, I think, 6-3. Uh, after that first war, you know, we had some really, really good looks, wide open threes that we didn't make. Uh, so I was encouraged by that, even though we didn't make them. Uh, but when you don't make them, right, you got to get stops on the defensive end. I thought we were very active on that end, and uh, I thought that's why we had the lead that we had at halftime. Was you know our defense, we'd turn you know uh, a stop into a score transition. Thought we made the extra pass, got the ball into the paint when we needed to, and played very unselfish. Um, one player in particular I've been seeing that's been key been contributor has been Aiden Hathaway. He's been stepping up big for uh, uh, for the team recently. Um, what's been him being involved in the team since he hasn't been like the starter since the start of the year, but he now becomes a regular starter now. Yeah, you know when AJ Brown went down, you know he stepped up and you know he he had started playing with more confidence to start with that Delaware game. You know he was in there that last four minutes, really the first time he'd ever been in in crunch time, and you know last year he didn't play hardly at all. 
So I think for him, he's going to continue to grow, continue to evolve. Um, you know, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. You know, he's a, he's a tough matchup. He can handle the ball, he can shoot the ball, rebound the basketball. And uh, I think he's just going to continue to grow and get better, you know, throughout the course of the year with, you know, experience and film and, and practice. So, Coach, after kind of a slow start in the conference, what do you think you guys can take away from a win like this going? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, every night you can win or lose. And I think just the preparation and, and preparing to win, don't get tired of preparing to win. Um, you know, don't be cool. You know, come out with your fists clenched, hand, you know, uh, sleeves rolled up. And, um, you know, it's going to be a day-by-day -day process, game-by-game -game process. And I think for us, you know, it's about, you know, what we weren't doing and what we need to do moving forward. You know, our defense has been atrocious. Uh, transition defense, rebounding, you know, three-point defense. Um, you know, tonight was a great step in the right direction. But now can we do it, you know, Eastern Michigan, can we do it game to game? Um, because, you know, we've scored enough, right, to, to, to win. But, uh, you know, that's only going to get so far. So, you know, proud of our guys. I think you just continue to build, continue to stay positive, continue to stay together, and, uh, you know, go day by day. You scored uh, 15 points off of 12 forced turnovers. How big was that for you guys tonight? <laughs> That was big. You know, I think you know we have it. Normally, the last few years we've been in really good forcing turnovers and, and turning those into points. We haven't been doing a good job of that the first, you know, four games in MAC play. And anytime you can do that, you know, you're going to create a disadvantage offensively in transition uh, to where you can get you know some easy points. And sometimes those, you know, if you get set up and play a half court game, you know, sometimes those are points are hard to get. So when you can you know create offense from your defense, that's a bonus. I just have one more. You guys won the rebounding battle tonight, and you also helped them to only six offensive rebounds. How significant was that for this moment? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's big moving forward, you know, especially the, with the lineups we have. We're small. Um, you know, that was a big, you know, emphasis coming in, you know, with Taylor and, and uh, Harding both averaging over two offensive rebounds. So for, for to us to hold them the three offensive rebounds in the first half, three in the second, and, uh, you know, getting those 50 50 balls, that was big. Great seeing y'all, man. One guy got a haircut, one didn't when they went home, huh? <laughs> <laughs>